Hello, in today's video we are going to cover how you can translate your product categories um, if you're providing a multilingual Kudurus website. Um, so for example, if I go to my ceilings category, you can see everything is in English um, as it should be because I am selected on English as my language right now. Um, I can see my category name here, it is in English, it's ceilings. Um, however, if I switch to French, I still see the English version of ceilings. I do not see the French translation because we haven't yet provided the French translation for this product category. So to provide the French translation, what you will want to do is hop over to the operations portal and then choose PIM, choose categories. and find the category we would like to translate. I would like to translate ceilings, so I'm going to search on that. And I can see my category right here. So I'll go ahead and go to the details. And as you can see, we have three uh, text fields here that are marked with a flag. That means they are multilingual and can be translated. Um, right now, we have English selected up in the uh, top corner here, um, so we cr are currently viewing the English version. Um, we can also switch to any other language we have configured. I'm going to choose French because I want to translate this category to French. Later, I'll do Polish and Ukrainian as well. Once I select French, I'm now viewing the French version of this category. And as you can see, the name field is now blank. That's because there is no French translation populated yet. So let's go ahead and um, input the French tra translation for this category. Uh, the title was Ceilings, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the English to French translator. I do not know French, but you may already have a French um, person who knows French and will be translating your categories. Or you can do what I'm going to do here and just go ahead and pull up the uh, translator and copy the French translation. And we'll hop back to our category and operations portal and input the French name. Once we click out of the text field, it will save it. And if we hop back over to the website and refresh, we can now see our French translation. And of course, if we switch back to English, we'll see the English version. And if we hop back to French, we'll see the French version again. So that is how you can translate uh, your categories to any language you'd like. Um, you can also tra provide translations for the keywords and description. Um, the English version on this particular category doesn't have any keywords or descriptions. So um, I'm not going to bother with those, but you can, of course, if you have those populated. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching.